I don't know why I didn't plug in my mic earlier. Did I? I opened the software and I don't think I set it properly. Hold up. I don't know if it sounded weird at all there, but now we should be good. Hello. I am precisely on time every time. I'll do my spiel again. I don't like to be on time. I don't, I'm not on time on purpose. I would probably be late by like two or three minutes if I was aiming to be on time every time. Uh, but I shoot for like 12.15 to actually start streaming. Uh, the reason why I don't do it on time is because a lot of people, a lot of other streamers will say, oh, we're starting stream at noon. And then when they hit start stream at noon, it's a stream start soon page that lasts like 20 minutes. And I hate that. So if you want to be one of the people who waits for the stream to start, you can get in at noon when it does the, the startup thing. Or you'll get a notification, I assume, I hope, you get a notification when I actually start the stream. So that way, if you just want to get in when I actually start, and I still do this like two to three minute prelude while people get in here after that notification that the stream's actually started, uh, you can do either. So that way no one's waiting on a boring screen, I guess. You're only waiting on a boring screen if you choose to. That's that's why I do it. I hate stream starting soon pages. So, <laughs> anyways, how are you guys doing? Why do I have Chrome open? Let's go ahead and close that. We are doing a lot and a little at the same time today. We're gonna be doing an hdmi mod for this well actually the n64 is over here into this i said watermelon red because that's the color the actual name of the red shell color uh one it's aftermarket and two this is actually not watermelon red i think watermelon red is the lighter red which we've already got but the good news is i'm restocking all of the colors today so uh we will do this mod and then I actually have to test all the ones I did this weekend and we'll do all of that live and as I test them and make sure they're good I will then uh, list them live so if you are looking for a particular color uh, and you don't want to miss out stay in the stream towards the end assuming everything checks out fine all of them should be listed I will also say that I'm very upset right now because I was supposed to have a, a tenth color. We're only adding nine colors today, which is fine because I don't think I'm going to get the black shell anymore. It looks too similar to the original. Maybe I'll, I'll do a few. Uh, I'll probably just wait around until I get like a good original shell to just reuse. But uh, I found an orange shell on AliExpress that wasn't with the listing that I normally get these from. And I ordered it. And they gave me an orange N64 controller instead of the shell. So I got to talk to them and say, hey, can you give me the right thing, please? Because I'm not spending 30 bucks on an aftermarket N64 controller that I didn't want. So anyways, welcome. How are you guys doing? 24 months, DC. It has been two years of you being a member. That is insane. You know, it is a lot. 24 months. You know, it's... You know it's funnier than 24. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to end the poll since 94% of you said no. And if any of you said yes, why the heck didn't you come up and say hi to me? I was there. Come on. Apparently, I didn't see it, but apparently uh, Rux did... Uh, did see some uh, some guy doing a PS5 HDMI fix live at the place. There was also uh, a fire alarm that was pulled at the at the expo. And that was uh, pretty lame because, as far as I'm aware, there was no fire. But let's uh, 
Let's do our normal thing. If you want me to say your name out loud, say something in the chat right now. Uh, I will organize my desk a little bit. There is a lot of uh, dust and dirt around here because the N64s this time were nasty. So I apologize for this. Your N64s are going to be clean when you get them. But yeah. Yeah, I wish I could play some music for you guys on that screen, but I cannot. That is unfortunate. It precisely when he means to is a reference to uh, Lord of the Rings, right? That's a, a Gandalf thing. I'm pumped you're here too, Hyrule and Kale. I haven't seen your name pop up in a while. How you doing? I I I don't remember when, where, or why I started doing this, but. Uh, I don't know. I, I've just been doing it for a while. And uh, whenever I say, say something in chat, a lot of people, well, a lot of people for me usually say something. So, okay. I've only seen the Lord of the Rings movies twice now. So, I was just double checking. My stomach is making noises. Anyways, we got 20 people in here. We've got six likes. I feel like we can do better than that. But I will be saying hello to everybody. We got DC, Andrew, Jan. Thank you, by the way, again for the Switch Lite. I, I got the, the Switch, OLED, Switch Lite OLED screen on order. It'll hopefully be here this month. Probably going to make a video about it in November. Maybe we'll see. I uh, might have to push it to December because I got a lot of things I want to do. Anyways, back to saying hi. Blubby, blub, blubby. Floppy. Sorry, I read that wrong. DJ Ames. Hi, Ruli and Kale. My mother. Jordan. And Retro Rich. How you doing? I, there was a bunch of chats that just popped up at once there, so I had to re find where I was in the list there. How's everybody? Gonna have to watch this one later, because I literally just bought these mods, but I'm working to so have fun. Have fun working but yeah these uh these mods are kind of nice i do have two in here right now but i uh we're only we're only doing one live right now because like i said i'm still waiting on the them to correct my order but i have to actually talk to them i was trying to do it over the mobile app but trying to get help through uh aliexpress on the mobile app sucks Okay, and where should we start? I think I'm just going to put, yeah, okay, we'll start here. I'm going to put this down on the ground, and we're going to get this piece of metal. Place that down there. I'm going to. Very nice. Thank you for the four months, Rich. I will, uh, I'm going to choose not to read that one out loud. But I've even pre-cut, oh, duh, I need to do that too. I even pre-cut the, uh, the hole in the shell because I thought I was going to have less time. I'm still not going to have a ton of time for stream today, but there's the hole. If you were wondering if you can even really see that, I'll zoom in. Uh, but I have more time than I thought, so I could have done the, uh, the shell trimming live. But that's how big the hole needs to be. We can grab a... Uh, Grab a board out of here. This one's got lines from uh, markings on it, but just a little sharpie on the metal. It's not going to hurt anything. 
I do need one of these, and the rest we can save for whenever I get that orange shell. But when we place this down, we can take this peel off of the sticker. I like to come in to the left first to push it up as far as I can. Actually, flip it around this way real quick. We'll zoom out and then we'll zoom back in, in a second. But this is very tight over here. And uh, it's also tight up in this corner here, too. So I start going in from the left make sure it's locked into place there and then it should line up with the edge here it's slightly crooked though because of that but it still plugs in just fine especially if you get the uh the cut right which we did and these will fall out really easily too if you're not careful but it's not going to focus on the part we want there we go. But perfectly cut. It's not as pretty as other people can make it, but I'm getting there. I'm doing a lot better than I used to with uh, shell trimming. Okay. Then we can place this down the other way. <laughs> And where's the red piece here? Slot that in. And. Everything seems to be locked in, sort of. Cool. There we go. I was going to say, not quite. I was gonna take an old HDMI, heat it up, and melt it, melt the shape. Why would you melt the shape? I'm, I'm confused what the end goal is here. I'm gonna flip this around this way. I'm gonna get some Kapton tape. Cut myself a strip of it. Apparently fold the tape over on itself. I'm gonna get very close to these gold contacts here. We're gonna zoom in as much as possible. And I'm going to tape this down on pin 6 through 25. I might get in the way here. And by might, I'm like most definitely getting in the way here. But I just needed to see nice and up close for a second. Make sure everything was lined up. And it's Probably not lined up anymore, because for whatever reason, it's not sticking. I... Okay, world's least sticky piece of Kapton tape. Try that again, I guess. Well, if you morph the shape too much, then it won't fit at all. Right? 
like the you won't be able to plug anything in Also, uh, just so I don't forget to mention it later, this is going to be the last. No. Why was this? There's going to be no Mod Monday next week. Uh, I will be returning home from Pittsburgh on Monday because I'm leaving to go to uh, Sunday Night Football. I know most of you aren't football fans, but if in case you've forgotten, I am a huge Steelers fan and I'm going to my very first uh, NFL game in Pittsburgh, so I'm pretty excited about that. My soldering stuff is on the wrong side. Uh, but it's Sunday night, the game we're going to, so we leave uh, why would I say we leave? We're leaving there Monday. So I won't be home until way too late to do a, a stream. So I will most likely see you guys again in the middle of the month. But I will also say now that uh, stock-wise, there will be plenty of stuff because I am planning to be adding extra stock for the holiday season so there will be a lot of stuff dropping in october i think i'm going to slowly drop uh more stuff over this month a lot of it is ready to go but not all of it uh the n64s will all drop today as i said earlier i'm gonna clean this tip real quick add a little bit of solder to my tip. And just do a little drag soldering there. I was in the middle of announcement mode, but then went straight into a uh, solder mode. And now I'm too focused to talk. But. It really is that simple. And I think I just did it that easy. look like there might be a little bridging there i know you guys can't really see but this is as far in as i can zoom unfortunately i think there's a little bridging going on here but i will take a picture with my uh macro lens on my camera so you guys can see how amazing of a job i just did but yes the holiday season is upon us unfortunately Tomorrow is what I consider the start of the holiday season. Um, let's get nice and up close here. Look at that. How nice. Perfect, that is. That is blown out for you guys. Look at that. It doesn't get much better than that. That line there is just like a hair or something. I think it's just a string of flux. Dang. Just got to admire my work for a second. So nice. Okay. But... There will be a restock of all these today. We'll see. 
Uh, I need to look over what I've got done, but I might try and do like drop a like five more of each model every day this week. We'll see. But uh, that is the plan is to have 10 of each Game Boy model available for the at least the next three months and uh, try and keep N64s and GameCube stocked as much as possible. But I think N64 and GameCube is just going to be pretty much normal stuff, but trying to be more on top of it. Okay. From here... I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to carefully snip off that. And then I'm going to get my soldering iron back out because there are two more little things we got to solder. So we got to get five volt for the power for this thing and then I don't know what the uh, the other thing is but we got to solder one little wire I like to just snip this piece off because it's really hard to loop it back around to solder it to just this one little pin over here so it does come with way too many wires included so I just use one of those wires for the con We'll add some more solder to the 5 volt line over here. And then I don't know why I added a extra solder there, but I need to take that bubble off of my iron and then we can uh, get flux going here and here to clean that up a little bit more we're gonna add that wire there and we're gonna solder this one pin two there I'll zoom in for this one since I didn't really, eh, it's not much better, but it's the second pin from the left on the bottom part of this chip, or I guess the top since the writing is upside down, but for my angle, the bottom, and then we just flip this over, stick it down into the molten solder. Give it a little wiggle test. Doesn't look the best. I'm going to put a little flux down. I also need to use a better... Um, need to use a better set of tweezers because my tweezers are not very good no more. Kind of bent them this weekend but i've only got three pairs of them over on this desk so and from here we'll zoom out a little bit more or a lot a bit more we can lift this tab up fold this over pins down Slot that in there. Make sure it's nice and flush. Before we lock it down. Doesn't look the most flush. And route this 
wire in a way that it's not in the way. And we'll give a light, very light crease to that. And we can put this back on. This has got some dust bunnies on it. I vacuumed it as best I could. Let's see. I'll get the vacuum back out. Since I could easily move that with the toothbrush. I don't know where the vacuum is. <laughs> so, I will just do this. Where did my toothbrush go? Why not wipe it with a microfiber cloth? Because, uh, I don't know. It's over there. It's all the same. Microfiber is going to pick it up maybe a little bit better than a toothbrush would, but. Random question. Does your site support PayPal? Yes. It does. I don't really prefer PayPal. Actually, I don't know. PayPal takes more of my money. <laughs> so I don't like it for that. But uh, I do like I get my money faster through PayPal. So I guess I don't hate that. But yeah, it supports PayPal. It also supports uh, Apple Pay. I'm assuming Google Pay if it supports Apple Pay. It shows all the stuff it supports, I'm pretty sure, when you go to the checkout page. But I don't normally check out at my own website, so. Okay. Wait, no, not, not yet. We gotta add some screws here. And there will be extra screws in my piles. Because... I still have one more NC24 torn apart because I don't have the orange shell that I ordered. I'm still upset about that. Get out the trusty LTT screwdriver. Wait. Nope, I had it right. Let's see if we can focus on the mat there. So you don't have to focus on my hand. Or we'll just go back to focusing on my hand. When you say split costs, you mean like, uh, like do it into like four payments or more. Because uh, shop pay which I hate I'm about to say this because Shopify emails me all the time saying you should promote shop pay. Um, <laughs> but they're, they do have their own thing called shop pay that does uh, let you split up into payments. If that's what you're referring to. I 
and a lot of people do use that on my website. I have never personally used it, but I've had a lot of customers use it. My forearms already burn. Okay, now we got like quite a few more of these actually. I think it's six. Oh, two different cards at once. Okay. Sometimes the magnet on the LTT screwdriver is too strong. And it can be really annoying. Like, all the metal shielding makes the screws just want to magnet to it. Also, I'm going to be honest. I'm weak and pathetic, and I think I'm going to swap to the automatic screwdriver for the last... Six uh, game bit screws. <laughs> it takes a lot more force to uh, drive these screws into the new plastic pro plastic posts. My forearm's already burning, and I know I've got a lot more work to do today, so I really don't want to be dying after the first mod I do. Uh, we gotta swap this to... You know what? I'm just gonna swap over to the automatic one now. Also, Rich, if you're Oh, you gotta go. Well, if you're still here. Pepsi's just better. I'm actually really happy that they've got a, a diet cherry one now. Because I like cherry... Cherry, uh... Pepsi. <laughs> but... I've turned into a bit of a, a diet Pepsi kind of person. I still like my regular Pepsi uh, slightly more, but uh, no sugar helps not hurt my stomach. <laughs> I'm not afraid to admit I'm weak sometimes. Depends on the situation. Okay. You know what? I did not grab a uh, memory thing. Let me go grab a stick of RAM. Didn't have to go far for that. <laughs> Probably could have stayed in my seat. And... I kind of wish for the uh, for these N64 shells, the aftermarket ones, they would just uh, put these feet into the design of the uh, shell so they weren't separate pieces. 
Because there's absolutely no need for there to be <laughs> separate plastic pieces for this. It's just annoying. Sorry, I'm going to mute my mic for a second. I didn't give a warning for that, and I feel bad. Is it muted? No. Those ones are really screwing with me. And yes, I am proud of myself for that one. Um, but they did not want to give me any leeway. Okay, I am going to grab a controller. I'm going to grab a game. And I'm going to grab a power cable. And I think that oh, I do need to... I'll steal this one out of here. And then we're going to start testing a bunch of N64s. How's that sound? I wanted to get the, uh, the small screwdriver kit, but I don't want to just get the... I wanted to get the whole bit set. I didn't want to just get the driver. Uh, but I missed it completely. <laughs> And so I'll just get it eventually. I was hoping to cover it as like a video, but eh, don't really care that much. I'd be, it'd be nice if they were, they sent one out to me, but I don't think I am popular enough for them to uh, send me stuff for free for review. Even though I've been featured on the WAN show. But I feel like I'm a good YouTuber for them to have in their corner advertising these kits. But I don't know. They don't owe me anything. But it'd be nice, you know. Free stuff is always nice. Okay, got my controller that I didn't order, but I got anyways. Got a third party power cable that is included in your N64 orders if you buy it from me.
that cable will not reach, unfortunately. So, we're going to stop charging my laptop. Goodness gracious, too much stuff on the desk. I don't think you will hear the sound, which I'm realizing now is unfortunate because this was the only N64 that had uh, issues with sound or any issues at all. <laughs> and so I, uh, I do need to check that one way or another. So let's see if we can get that to work. Let's go to face cam. Hello, how are you guys doing? And uh, swap to that. You can't see that though. Hit the games tab and we can hit on. It should power up and show us a Mario face. It is on that is uh, not centered. Let's transform fit the screen. There we go. And uh, cool, it works. Uh, can you guys hear the, the game music? No. Yeah, let's see. Let's go to settings. Let's unmute this. Well, that's probably really loud. Or isn't it? It's glitchy, isn't it? Hold on one second. Yeah, okay. Now I can hear it. That is not how it should be. Let's unplug and replug. just restart oh okay I feel like this is just my uh, my capture card It may be the HDMI cable. I think it's the HDMI cable. Yeah, because when I move it, it's, it messes up. Okay. Hmm. One moment. So it works. I'm going to plug it into uh, my TV.
and uh, you should hear the sounds of Super Mario 64 in a second. Yeah, I feel like this, uh, I feel like this did happen last time. I think you're right. Oh, no, that's not. Just opened YouTube. Okay, it's not HDMI 3. It's HDMI 4? Yep. Yeah, okay, you can hear that. <laughs> Works. Hmm. Why does my HDMI capture card not want to work? Is it is it the capture card? Is it the HDMI cable? I do have a splitter for the HDMI cable. Is that what's messing it up? Messing it up? What if I just went straight? I'll try that for the next one. But for now, we'll go full face cam and I will add the. Uh, I will add this red one to the website if you want it. Let's go to collections. N64, if you're wanting that lighter red, or the darker red, the darker red one that we just modded live on stream, in about five seconds, oh, no, right now you can go, it's added to, I added one to stock there. And for the, the rest of the stream, we will be testing the rest of the N64s that I made this weekend, and I'll be adding one to, to stock. Uh, some of them, I think the two purple ones still have uh, stock. So if you want a purple one, whether it be the like normal lighter atomic purple or a like, deeper clear purple, those are available now. I'm going to plug in this blue N64. And test this one real quick. I'm going to unplug it from my splitter. Oops. Maybe. Just plug this straight in. See if that helps the sound issue because I'd like to just be able to show off the sound for it and do everything right here right now. I'm gonna go grab the game. And we can swap over to the games tab, plug this in, hit the power, and we're on in three, two, one. But it's annoying when it's not even the mod that's going wrong. Maybe I just need a different HDMI altogether. I just don't know if I have another good HDMI.
Pretty sure this is my Xbox One HDMI. <laughs> we'll try this. I mean, it's very possible that this one I just didn't do properly. Hold up. Okay, we'll try a different one then. Because now I'm just thinking that this blue one isn't working. Which would be a massive bummer. Extreme green. Which has always looked more yellow to me. But... Why are you not locking into place? There we go. And power on. Please work. There we go. Sound. Not the HDMI. Okay. Well. I'm just going to mute the sound. <laughs> that is disappointing. Okay. Moving on. Extreme green one works. I'm just going to count that is good if it does the little thing. Sound works. <laughs> I obviously will double check them before I sell them, before I send them out. I triple check everything. But the extreme green one is now up for sale if you would like to buy it. I guess, I mean, my HC60S has done fine. And like, I think it's just like an incompatibility with these mod kits. Cause it works fine for everything else. But I guess a lot of the time I don't use, they don't use the sound out of this camera or anything. Too many wires. I have wires everywhere on this desk. All right, we already got one of these in stock, but we'll go ahead and do this darker clear purple one. It's upside down. And three, two, one, show me Mario. Said, show me Mario. And we have another one that doesn't want to work. We got another one that doesn't want to work. Cool. All right. <laughs> nice. People do like it when I show off my failures too. So I think these, I probably just didn't plug the ribbon cable into this board correctly. Oh, you guys can't really see what I'm talking about. 
not the soldering part but the plugging in i just don't think i did them properly but this is also your sign to test things before you close them up atomic purple this time I didn't plug the con oh, I didn't even plug the HDMI in. HDMI plugged in. Power on. Mario 64 is good. I accidentally hit the, the power switch there. Can we get a little pitter patter? Yep, cool. Works. Atomic Purple is already in stock, but I will add a second one to stock while we're here. Okay. Clear black time. The smoke black, I should say. They use the official term. Can we, there we go, we're in. And, oh, put a game in, then power on. And we're in, pitter patter. Thank you. Controller. I guess I should. Be testing the controllers too. Make sure the ports are all good. Yep. We're good. Smoke Black is now in stock. Freshremaster.com. Next one up is we'll do the clear one. Now I know with the clear one, I used an original memory card in here. So I might have to uh, reinsert that or just put in a brand new one. This is just plain clear. Turning it on. Works. And we got a little pitter patter. It seems like it's like coming back to life. It's getting more in these. It, it, it's doing better. It's slowly coming back. Maybe the capture card will work itself out by the end of this. I will add the clear one to stock. And next up is Jungle Green. And then I guess we'll end on the, whoa, the watermelon red. But jungle green here. Try this again. Reinsert that bad boy. Pull 
Well, that's different. This one also seems to have a problem. Nice. Okay. That's three for the stack to fix. And watermelon red. This is a slightly different color from the one we did today. Even though the title of this video is Watermelon Red, I know. Sometimes getting the, the lineup on these third-party power cables is annoying. Like, nearly impossible. Did I put this in the shell correctly? There we go. Good thing is, you only gotta put it in once. In theory. Come on now. Gotta end on a high note. It does turn on. Not gonna give me anything. Okay, well, that is all I'm going to do for the stream. <laughs> yeah, I'm using the HD 60S Plus. I got it a while ago, but it may be on its way out. I don't know. That's pretty disappointing that I didn't get to have all of them working for the stream. But uh, that's just another thing on my list of things to do. No, that's not the one I wanted. I want that one. Thank you all for coming out to the stream. Uh, N64s will hopefully all be in stock by the end of the day. So check your local listings for that. RetroMaster.com. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I want to eat some lunch. I'm really hungry right now, and I've got stuff to do today. So I will. <laughs> no, it is. It could be so much bigger. Uh, yeah. You don't even know how much I have to do, but that's almost entirely my fault. So I am going to get to work. Uh, actually, I'm going to eat and then I'll get to work in a little bit. Uh, but got some exciting stuff coming up. If you're a member, you can go watch Friday's video right now. It is up for the members. Otherwise, it will be up on Friday at noon as usual. It is going over the 3DS capture card from Loopy, the new 3DS XL capture card. Uh, it's kind of cool. I got thoughts on it. It's a shorter video, but uh, the second channel tutorial is like 22 minutes, I think. So you'll get about 30 minutes of content from me on Friday. I have no idea what the second channel video is tomorrow. But there is one as far as I'm aware. Oh, yeah, RG Cube. They talk about the RG Cube. So if you're interested in that, it was a cool little device. I have some thoughts on that as well. But uh, that 
is what I'm talking about on Psychic Channel tomorrow. So go subscribe there. Thank you all for coming out. And I am sorry I didn't get more N64s listed on the stream. <laughs> Other than that, I will see you guys whenever you decide to watch my channel next. Later, guys. That was a really bad... That was terrible. Oh my gosh, so embarrassing. Bye.